So I am one of four UK youth delegates to COP28. So every year they choose four people um, to effectively identify um, pol climate policies that young people in the UK want decision makers to adopt um, and then advocate for those policies um, leading up to COP and to, at the summit itself. Um, so I will effectively be writing a communique um, that hopefully reflects um, the wants and needs of, of young people in the United Kingdom. Um, and those will be directly translated to the UK government, um, who will then deliver those at COP28. So for those of you who don't know, I'm sure all of you have come across, um, you know, the Y7, Y20 and COP before. But COP28 is the 28th annual Conference of Parties. Um, held under the United Nations Framework Convention on Climate Change. So this year it will be held in Dubai in December um, to agree on policies to limit global temperature rise and to adapt to impacts caused by climate change. Um, so effectively what we want to achieve in my delegation, um, which is endorsed by the Future Leaders Network, um, is we have three three main aims. So number one is to speak to a diverse range of young people from across the UK um, and confidently represent the voices of these young people to decision makers on the global stage. Uh, number two is to identify the climate policies that actually resonate with young people. So um, not just climate policies that benefit everyone in general, because the at the government will be making, well, supposedly making sure that that's the case, but specifically related to young people and then so that we would a be able to deliver on their uh, priorities if implemented um, and then thirdly advocating for these policies to decision makers by meeting with officials politicians and other industry leaders um, running pe press and media campaigns generating support um, in online and hosting in-person forums as well so this includes, we'll be meeting with Alok Sharma soon um, in a few weeks. We recently, um, not recently, I think uh, June time, we went to Bonn in Germany, the UNF Triple C negotiations, um, which they call Nerdy Cop, which is effectively um, the more, more efficient than Cop because it's really dealing with the um, in-depth in sort of processes and, and the agenda setting for COP, um, whereas COP, especially the first week, can be a lot of uh, world leaders taking photos with each other for, you know, Instagram. So <laughs> um, it was really great to see sort of uh, the, the behind the scenes um, and all the delegates that were there. Um, so it's really important for us to sort of, you know, build these partnerships, build these um, stakeholder relationships, and in, you know, ultimately amplify young people's voices. Um, and so in, in light of that, I recently um, was awarded a scholarship from Peace Boat US, which is um, uh, an NGO that um, effectively has voyages around the world and is commissioned by the United Nations to uh, conduct different research projects. Um, and so I recently came back from Latin America. I was in Panama, uh, Guatemala and Mexico. And I, um, my, my role was effectively to understand how climate change is affecting people on the ground. Um, and for example, you know, in Panama and Guatemala, how coastal communities actually affect, um, uh, how coastal communities are affected by climate change. So what was really interesting um, in in uh, Guatemala, we were on a river and we saw this rubbish accumulating on the side. And um, the local partners that we were with, they told us that actually the rubbish was put into the uh, the river by local people um, in the hope and through a lack of education um, because they thought it would act as a defense for coastal erosion. So they were actively putting waste into the river in the hope that it would protect their, um, you know, their houses and their, and their communities, which obviously is not how coastal erosion works. And it's not a, it's not a concrete deflection uh, um, measure. So it was really, really enlightening to experience firsthand how um, how climate change is affecting people from all around the world. Um, mm -hmm. And we stayed with some indigenous communities in Panama um, and got to got to really have first-hand exposure to um to as I said how it's affecting different people um so so yeah my my work this year is is pretty comprehensive it's initially 
sort of UK based, but I've been really fortunate um, to to have been able to travel to Latin America and understand the different in, uh, problems being faced by different communities around the world. Um, yeah, that, that's effectively me. I will be um, hosting an ELCOI, which is a local conference for youth um, in order to broaden this stakeholder engagement with young people. So one of them um, will be hybrid. So oh, sorry, it'll be hybrid. So one of them will be in person in September, I believe. And the other we'll try to have in person um, in order to engage young people, but also anyone who's interested. So I can share that information with Francis once we have more concrete uh, dates and links and uh, locations. Um, and yeah, our, our work will be culminating in Dubai at the end of the year. Um, and we'll hopefully be able to get our policies um, across 